Hi folks, I'm back here at halftime of the Hopkinton uh, Hiller Norton Lancer game and I'm here with my good friend Mike Girardi who is the uh, one of the founders of the Live for Evan organization here in town and uh, people have seen probably seen uh, advertisements for the race uh, done in Evan's memory but Mike if you could give us a little background on the organization and how it came to be and what you're yeah, what we're trying to do at sure. the moment. So thanks Pat for the uh, opportunity and um, we're, uh, we have a lot going on in the organization, but uh, the, the, the origins of the, the community are that we were approached by four good dear friends of Evans, um, Shane Lavoie, Jack Nealon, uh, Rick O'Dell, and Whitney Mullen, who wanted to, had an idea to put together a community uh, that caught the, uh, cared for the values and the ways that Evan had when he was alive. And, they approached us and we said we were in, Barbara and I. And, um, you know, for those of you who don't know, um, Evan was a Hopkinton resident and a graduate of Hopkinton High who unfortunately passed away uh, the first day of his senior year of college from a uh, long known heart ailment. But uh, after having uh, some surgery, his, uh, while he was a student here at Hopkinton, made a remarkable recovery, traveled throughout Europe, and uh, you know, he was ready to go, and unfortunately, yep. uh, God called him home. But uh, the values that Evan, Evan uh, lived, uh, the smile on his face, and I think that's something we, that you know I've become involved in the organization through uh, you letting me in. Yep. Uh, usually, any organization that would want me to be a part, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, it supports cardiac research, and um, yeah, it's I, uh, we, it's all about uh, helping and supporting cardiac ailments and families. Uh, I guess more specifically, families and children uh, that have congenital heart disease, which what Evan had, uh, which means you know you're born with uh, defects or disease. So. And um, I know if you can tell a little bit about the race and what. Uh, yep. yep. So uh, what we try to do is we try to raise funds uh, through activities and then take that money um, and plow it back into you know activities that are again congenital heart defect related or heart defect related both for patients um, and for their families um, and try to take that those, those cherished pennies and nickels and bring them right down deep right to the patient themselves and I know you've got a very good relationship with Children's Hospital here in Boston and the Yawkey House and uh, yeah yes yeah, so this is one of the things we do yeah of course we're uh, close to Children's because uh, Evan and a whole bunch of us spent a lot of time there over his life and uh, we have uh, good friends there and we're warm to the place uh, so we one of the main things we do is uh, the Yawkey House is a house that's owned by Children's Trust Fund and they support long-stay families and patients who are at the hospital and you know, if you ever get a chance to go there I know you've been there a couple times but uh, what we still do is waiting for the hair on my fingers <laughs> to grow from the barbecue. From barbecue so we started out doing it once or twice a year this year we kicked it up and we're doing it six times a year so uh, you know we, we, we gather up dinner and, and truck it on in from Hopkinton and go in and serve it three or four of us and it's quite a quite a quite a warm thing I really enjoy doing that and I'm, I'm glad I've been been a part of it uh, along with uh, of course Barbara and yep. Kathy McDonald, Jacko, and, yep. you know, and the gang, and uh, Shane. You know, there's a gang of folks that go in, and some very. It just war it gives you a feeling of uh, satisfaction, but it also, you see some folks uh, as we saw in uh, December that have some children that, that are yeah. struggling and are, are battling. And uh, yeah. I, you know, that fellow from Miami. I hope his son is do doing well. He had had to put a third lung in the poor kid. You know. It, get yeah. lung, double lung transplant then they were doing something outside his body and yeah. just the marvels of medical science but I know you've got a long-term goal and you yeah. know that I hope I'm part of as well with the guys so yeah. you can talk so a little we, bit um, about that yeah we have a couple of things kicking off in 2015 uh, we do a fair amount we start out in February with a National Heart Healthy Month so there'll be a marketing campaign coming out for that we do the Yawkey dinners the next one is February 28th that's uh, number two of the year. We then go into, uh, uh, we got a Live for Evan Boston Marathon team now with a few runners who uh, will raise money for us that are bibbed. Uh, we then go and do our scholarship, our Hopkinton High School scholarship. This will be the fourth year. We take money and give it back to deserving seniors. And who then, was the uh, winner this past year? Uh, good question. I'm sorry. I don't know the name <laughs> off the top of my head. Sorry. But we, we usually do, you know, it's two, yep. two a year. Yep. We've been doing it for, for now. This will be the fourth year. So uh, 
we do that, and then we have the big event, which is the race walk event, which is hopefully September 12th this year. We're trying to tie it into the 300th anniversary now, so we're working with that. Yep. Uh, we think it could work if we can get the schedule in there. So we're working that. It's tentatively scheduled for that now. And then the, the big thing we got going now is uh, we have a, we call it a, resident, a residential campaign going. Um, we are raising money for to buy a house somewhere between Children's Hospital and Hopkinton that will take in families and patients of cardiac patients, congenital heart patients, and 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 supply a house for them to stay and take care of them and love them. And I know one of the uh, features of the house is going to be a porch that yeah, that's uh, true. Uh, Jack Neal and sister Callie, I believe, drew yeah. that yeah. really Evan loved to hang out on the Neelan porch that's and. Right. Uh, that's true, and many of uh, Hopkinton kids have hung out on the Neilan porch for, I don't know, nearly a century, but uh, it's, they haven't spent a lot of time there with his friends, and so the, one of the features of the house should be a, a porch. So, uh, yeah, we've got some, we've got a, a, a big donor or two in, um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start advertising that. The house has been named. It's called Evans Way, um, and, uh, and now we move. So more should be coming out in February for that. All right, well, we're coming down to the end of, the, uh, of halftime here, and uh, really thank you, Mike. Thanks sure, for your thank friendship you for the over the years, Absolutely. and uh, look forward to working with you and doing that dinner on the 28th. That's it. Go Hillers, huh? Go Hillers. Thanks, and Pat, for the opportunity. Go BC Eagles, too. Yeah, Thanks for Eagles taking me to the game the other night. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike.